What we're quite excited about is the migration away from the physical SIM card to the eSIM or the embedded SIM. And what we think that's going to enable is more and more devices and objects being manufactured with connectivity built in, which will just allow for more and more smart applications, smart services that can be offered to the enterprise, as well as then passed on from the enterprise to the consumer. So it really just speeds up the uh, deployment of intelligent connectivity for our mind, and, and we're really looking at how we can ensure our uh, OEM partners, our manufacturing partners, our device manufacturing partners can leverage our connectivity capability to make their assets and objects uh, born connected. What we're really looking at is uh, taking the, uh, the internet and the cloud-based capabilities of layering intelligence and gathering information, parsing information, and making more uh, informed decisions based on. So the, what the eSIM does is really allow for more and more devices, objects, things to be connected. So it's really just creating a, a more uh, diverse ecosystem of what can be connected to uh, not only provide data into business intelligence and data analytics platform, uh, but ultimately over time for certain objects, also they can start to execute on it. So if you think about uh, more advanced uh, machines, they can not only provide information in terms of sensors, temperature, usage, but they can actually start to uh, take action as well based on different types of rules. And that's really the next step we're looking towards as all of these devices and machines become connected. eSIM is really more of an enablement mechanism. It's not gonna make them more intelligent per se, but it's gonna enable a greater uh, conduit and, and uh, transport of data from the device and to the device. So the intelligence may not actually sit on the device itself, um, but this idea of ensuring that it's always connected wherever it is, is going to be critical and the eSIM plays a key role in ensuring that. So if you think about the transportation um, area, as we look towards connected vehicles, moving on towards uh, driver assistance, all the way towards autonomous, that's a huge amount of connectivity that's gonna be required in the vehicle, a tremendous amount of data that's going to have to come from the car and to the car, uh, all of its surroundings to really replicate and, and make the right decisions, uh, either in support of the driver or on behalf of the driver. And so you can't do that by having you know, physical SIMs plugged into different elements. It needs to be more of a software-defined approach. You really need to have the connectivity factored into the car design, into the manufacturing process, and that really requires the eSIM technology to take off and to be built into the car manufacturing or whatever other devices that uh, you're looking at in the, in the future of the connected world.